Hello, I'm Dr. Manisha Singh. I'm senior consultant gynecologist and head of reproductive medicine and surgery. One of the commonest questions I get asked in the OPD is what is PCOD or PCOS? Well, essentially PCOD is polycystic ovary disease and it is a part of the metabolic syndrome problems. It is characterized by the presence of polycystic ovaries with hormonal imbalance in the form of elevated LH testosterone and you may have symptoms of hyperandrogenism like acne, excessive hair growth on the body and face. PCOD can also be found uh, in women who might be obese and have irregular cycles and about 40% of women with PCOD are found to be obese. The prevalence of PCOD in the Indian population per se is around 25 to 30 percent and that is the whole syndrome whereas polycystic ovaries on their own in isolation may be seen in between 50 to 55 percent of the girls in India. So the next question I get asked is who is at a risk of getting the whole disease the PCOD or PCOS? Well, essentially by the virtue of our genes, 50% girls already would have polycystic ovaries. If you add on a very sedentary lifestyle, if you add on bad eating habits, lack of exercise, uh, then you have the rest of the symptoms coming in like acne, excessive hair growth, weight gain, irregular periods. So, the syndrome per se is very fluid and you could make it bad or worse based on your poor lifestyle habits. So what does one do to make this better? Well, I cannot take your polycystic ovaries away because you are born with the polycystic ovaries, but you can make the manifestation of the syndrome better by trying to exercise for between 45 minutes to one hour every day. And this exercise should be something that makes you break into sweat. The next thing you need to do is to have five small meals every day instead of trying to have two large meals. Skipping meals never helped anybody. Try and make your portions small, cut out the junk food, cut out the fizzy drinks. Ensure that you drink lots of water Make sure that you have salads and fresh fruit as a part of your diet. And apart from that, um, you know, make sure that you get, get yourself checked uh, on a regular basis should you have any symptom that bothers you. One of the other questions that I get asked is, do all PCO women have infertility? Not really, because if that was the case, the population in India would not be 1.3 billion and uh, increasing on a daily basis but if you do have the whole syndrome and if you have irregular cycles and you are obese it means that you have an ovulatory cycles whereby you are not releasing or ovulating the egg every month that would help you achieve a pregnancy.